right, welcome back. Part five, prepping the block. Hey, I'm Johnny K, and I'm gonna talk about prepping your motor before you take it in to a machine shop. Uh, this motor is a 454, but it's bored 30 over, which makes it a 460 cubic inch motor. A 454 has a stock stroke of 4.000 and a stock bore of 4.250. So this is 30 over, so this makes it a 4.280. First, you're gonna need some tools. The tools that we use, the pneumatic or electric die grinders, an electric four and a half inch grinder, with a sanding disc on it. Sanding disc you can usually get at Fastenal or a welding supply shop. You can get a flapper wheel like this, sandpaper flapper wheel at Ace Hardware. And then some carbite tips. Fastenal carries these. Those are about the three tools that you really need for deburring any material off the block. First thing that I did was usually in the oil valley gallery, there's rough edges all along here. So take the die grinder, the carbide tip, smooth this out. Then you can take one with the flapper wheel on it and the die grinder. You just go over that with the sandpaper, smooth it out a little more. A little tip where the oil filter goes, this is usually a jagged edge. So take your die grinder, smooth this out, and then take the flapper wheel on the die grinder and just smooth it a little more. What you can do is, this is an oil screen valley kit. It just protects if something breaks up here, keeps all the parts in the valley so they can't go down into your crank. You get one screen here, screens, and it's just epoxied in. Moroso makes a kit, it's like $25, it's cheap insurance. Shmoo epoxy over it, put some epoxy on here. And for setting up, I place some smaller diameter sockets on these and then stacked a couple sockets for some weight just to hold it down. Do this before you take the block in because the chances are epoxy is going to ooze down and drip on the cam bearings. You don't want to try to scrape off epoxy while it's dripping on the cam bearings. In the front here you have two oil galley plugs right here and right here. There's little holes drilled in them. Those holes give your timing chain some oil. In the freeze plug kit it comes with these oil galley plugs but the holes are not drilled so what you can do is you install the plug and then just take your drill bit and drill it and you can use a, a 16th inch drill bit 1 16th to drill these holes. already done but usually there's some casting marks up here and up here same just take the die grinder knock off the edges there's usually this was a big casting mark here at overhang came out so I smooth that off there is one right here by the deck so anywhere you want to smooth smooth it out that's all it's just preference usually I like to do by the oil filter there's usually a, a jagged edge right here and uh, some sometimes you can cut your hand on it 
if you're not careful just it's up to you it's all it's all preference how much you want to do but I like having my block look nice I smooth it all out then the other thing what you can do is you can go ahead and take out all the oil galley plugs remove those you can remove the freeze plugs there's three here three on this side and then there's two freeze plugs in the back and then the camshaft plug when you're taking out the freeze plugs always kind of note the orientation so if you're going to use a punch and a hammer you don't want to use the punch and go directly on to the cylinder you'd rather try to hit the pocket the water jacket so this particular freeze plug you'd want to take your punch and hammer and hit it in that way then you just take a channel locks and pull out the freeze plug okay here's one more tip if you notice in the lifter bore I put grooves in there on each side now standing in front of the motor you're you're looking at your water pump where the timing gears go, timing chain goes. Looking at it this way, your motor turns clockwise. So what these grooves do, as the cam is turning cl clockwise and it's coming up, as the lobe comes up, it gets, if my thumb is the lobe, that groove puts a drop of oil on the lobe and then it comes in contact with the lifter to push the lifter up. So it's just a little pre-lubrication before the lifter is on top of the lobe. And same on this side. So you don't have to do that. It's just a little added trick. I read it in a book and it made sense to me that you're pre-lubing, pre-oiling the lobe of the cam before it, the lobe comes in contact with the lifter. Of course the lifter is always in contact with the cam all what this is doing is oiling, putting a couple drops of oil on the lobe, and uh, just guarantees you more life out of your cam and lifters. So this is Comp Cam's lifter boring tool. It's basically an aluminum T-handle. It's got a little slot, and then they have what looks like a lifter, but it's machine. And basically, it, it accepts a little carbite tip. You can see it just slightly overhangs the edge on top there's a screw and that screw you run it down and it and it'll push up against the carbide tip and it'll move it down which will draw this tip up and basically you insert this in the bottom of the lifter bore and this tool hooks on and basically, all that you're doing now that it's in there, is you're just pulling up and scoring it. So for example, you insert, insert it, put the tool in, and you just pull up. And that's it. And the comp cams instructions will tell you that standing at the front of the motor, this is your center line of the cam. It's, this is the inboard side. Comp cam says to put a groove on the outboard side of the passenger side. And then you want to put a groove on the inboard side of the driver's side. So after you get done installing your grooves in the lifter bore, you want to take a home ball home brush like this the size is 7 8 get some 30 weight motor oil put it in a plastic squirt bottle you can put this ball hone in a drill motor and uh, you just work it back and forth and uh, keep keep oil on it and do that to to all of them and then just go through clean it out take a lifter this check to make sure it's not hanging up on anything on the water jacket holes you can take your die grinder, the wheel, 
and just lightly clean out the holes, get all the corrosion off of the water jacket holes. Same on the front. You can come here and clean out the water pump holes. Wherever the freeze plugs are, you could do that same same thing. The free once the freeze plugs are out, you just take take your tool with the freeze plugs out, go around the holes and clean up all the gunk off of it. One more thing you can do while you're prepping your block to take it in to get machine is go ahead and clean chase all the threads. You got your head where your head's bolt. You can chase the threads on the water pump on the bottom where the main bolts go. And if you notice I said chase, I didn't say use a tap. A tap will actually take metal away. You don't want that. If you look at this chaser, it's actually got notches in the threads. So this just cleans the threads. It doesn't take off any metal, just cleans it up, and this is what you want. You don't want to use a tap. After you chase your threads, and you get all your threads chased, it's a good idea to pick up a little short brush like this. You insert it into your drill motor, and then you just go through, run it, and it cleans the threads one last time. And that just gets all the gunk and grease and everything out of it. And uh, that concludes uh, prepping the block, take it in.